is you guys start out. Uh, you guys, uh, after talking with the queen and all that stuff, you guys go, you guys head out and you guys go to a local tavern like this. Yeah. It looks like that. Mm -hmm. It's called the Red Stallion. And, um, when you guys, uh, when you guys write it down, uh, do you mean pause this and get you guys no, notebooks or you guys want to do it on the back of one we'll, of your sheets? We'll do them on the back. Okay. So you guys can write down the red stallion, which is there. And then, um, at the mix of, at the, uh, yeah. Huh? I like good enough. Yeah. My stomach sucks for stallion. Oh, well, that's why you have me and Jamie. We can help you out. S-T-A-L-L-E-M? I-O-N. Yeah. Wow. I -O -N. But yeah. Close enough. Close enough, yeah. Anyway. So, behind the bar, you see this elfish looking woman. She's like a half human, half friend. She's like a half human elf. She's like, she's got like a greenish yellow dress on. She goes, how may I help you today? Um, any drinks or anything I can get you fellow travelers before I, you go off on your own little adventure? Are we at the bar? Yeah, it, it's all like a tavern, which is basically in the medieval times, it's basically like a bar. Which reminds me. Do I want to flirt yet or do I just wait? <laughs> I don't know. D &D is for everyone and the what? Woman, no one's asking you. You hear little music. You, when you walk in, not only do you see the thing, but you see like a, uh, it's like a female, uh, it's like a little fawn, basically like a female satyr, and she's got this like little violin, not, uh, it's kind of like a violin ukulele combined, and you hear, yeah, and you, it's like it, when you walk into the Red Stallion, and there's like a few orcs drinking, but it's not very busy right now, so what do you do? What do you do? I'll take your finest ale. She goes, okay. She slides you a coaster and uh, um, a uh, glass. And then what about you? So what are you gonna? So what are you doing? Okay, I'm gonna have the same drink she's having. I'm gonna try to flirt with a bartender. <laughs> I know it's early, but I'm gonna try to flirt with a bartender. Okay. So she slides you your beer, and with that being said, since you want to do your flirting. <laughs> You're gonna make the first roll of the night, <laughs> which will be this one. And what's your persuasion? Uh, let me check. 
so you're, I want to say, oh, your charm is nine. Okay, this is going to be interesting. So, so what, which one? The diamond one, then, <coughs> this one? yeah, and then do two with the dice pool. Da, 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 da. Okay, roll. And you're gonna do a your a, a persuasion. See how charm you can do. I got thirteen. Okay. Uh, let me do mine. Okay, so you got one more than she did. So she's like, um, anyway, so, uh, is there anything else I can do for you? And she's like, she wants to look away from you, but she's like, trying to conch, trying to focus on her job, but she's like, slowly keeps turning back at you and, She's like, um, she's like, uh, oh, is there anything else I can do for you? Um, uh, more. more? <coughs> can I see you again? Huh? I was like, hey, can I see you again? <coughs> yeah. Uh, she goes, um, maybe on a date. Uh, she goes, well, um, normally I don't do this on the first time I meet somebody, but, um, uh, she goes, uh, it was really nice meeting you, and, uh, but, um, very seldom do people ever, uh, that when they pass through this town, they very seldom don't really come back that much, but, uh, and I don't really... Because they don't have phones back then. Yeah. So, um, she goes, well, um, what I can do is, uh, uh, and she goes, oh, uh, she goes, uh, my name's Matilda. And she goes, um, uh, well, the next time, uh, I, I'm not flattered, but the next time, uh, you come back to this town, Maybe I can take you, you can, I, I can take you up on that offer, but like right now, um, I'm, uh, cause I don't really, uh, cause I work kind of late, but yeah. But, um, didn't you also hear above the music? You see uh, a guy that it's a uh, similar to what Jamie is, but uh, he's a uh, he goes a uh, he goes a uh, sewer. Or keep, uh, I'm gonna bring some stuff over here. Uh, I'm kind of empty. So, what do you guys do? What are you doing besides enjoying your ale? You glance over and you see he's like um he's like a barbarian rogue. He's got like it looks like animal garb on, and uh, the thing that draws your eye is he's got like it looks like a uh, he's twirling this like he's doing that little finger thing with a uh, with a really cool looking dagger hunting knife, and that's what caught your eye. But you do hear him. 
He's not completely drunk, but he's kind of getting there. Oh, what do you what? do? What do you guys do? Hey, barbarian. He goes, what do you want? Yes. Uh, he goes, so uh, what do you want, pretty lady? You could have asked her a little nicer than that. She goes, and, and he's like, so uh, what are you, like the new sheriff of this town? Or, or what business do you have with her? And she like, gets him his drink. And um, then she goes back to the back to do whatever her job is. I happen to grow up here. But I know respect, and right now, you're not giving her any. He goes, okay. And he goes, oh, okay, sorry. Is that better? No. Yeah. Ask her nicely. Oh, she's already back there. She's, I mean, she goes, yeah, she's like not really paying attention. He goes, Okay. Well, the next time I see her, I'll ask her nicely then. Matilda. She goes, what? Has he been giving you trouble before? She goes, not much like you know, every other drunk that comes in here. I deal with a lot of people in my line of work. Some are rude, some are not. I'm, don't really bother me there, hon. It's just it's part of the medieval bartender or tavern keep or whatever they call them. I think they're like bartenders. But anyway, yeah. Now listen. We're going to be in town for a while. If you have any issues, I'll be around. She goes, okay. Duly noted. They call me Rogue. Okay. Well, thanks, Rogue. But, as you say this, you hear someone in the back is like, huh. So you say you live here, but I don't really remember you. You say you're from here. As the music still playing. Um. He goes, uh, but anyway, you guys seem eager on a little, uh, on adventure. Who's asking? And he, like, he, like, sits forward from the shadow. So you guys want to roll a investigation check? Yeah. So, it's uh, you don't really have it, but it's part of your my intelligence. Your intelligence. So I just roll that. So and then you add. do this, and then whatever you get, you add seven to it. And then for you, you yeah, you're, you it's the same thing for you. Basically, you do that. And then you add seven to whatever you want to do, to whatever it is. This one? Yes. Ten. Okay. Ten? Twelve. Twelve. Okay, so you guys both, you don't know of him, but you do know that from the stories that he is, um very rare in these parts he's an elf thief oh, no no hey he's an elven rogue um and he's been he's known for like that a lot of people call him uh uh uh, uh call him a uh, dark hand or they also in some parts depends on who you talk to uh, uh, call him Dead Man's Hand, and because he gives you information, but 
a lot of that information could be either stolen or whatever. But a lot of people on both sides of the spectrum, both bad and good, they know of this guy for like adventures and because he travels all over the world and he has a lot of connections. So what do you guys do? And then and that's all like what you guys both have heard from you guys' um countries or where you guys are actually both you guys is from. Not much. It's just like tongue cheek like rumors. But and then like stories in back alleys, but that's all you know about this guy. He's like one of those mix mysterious guys that will pop up anywhere that you like, mostly like in bars and like alleys that he uses his elephant magic to disappear at the right point in time. What do you guys do? Hmm. Well. The rumors are true. If it isn't the pointy-eared thief. He goes, oh, you flatter me. <laughs> anyway, are we gonna talk, are we gonna do flattery all day? Because, uh, because I can take it in any day of the week, but, um, you seem like you guys are eager for adventure, but, uh, so... You want to get to the meat and potatoes, or are we going to just sit around and flirt? Because uh, I'm pretty sure I got a lot of connections in this town and many other towns. I can get you drunk as oh, a skunk, and we can do this all day, chica. I ain't cheeky. But uh, it seems like you are a businesswoman. Your friend is kind of like a business guy. Uh, <laughs> oh, I don't mind him. He just likes to flirt. And I seem like a business guy might be a little bit shady on my work, but I'm a businessman nonetheless, so let's get down to it. What do you want? Because I don't want anything. I got some information that you could be going on an adventure that can lead you to a lot of really good stuff that I might have heard some tales in my line of work. And we can work at the details in a many other time. Well, let's just put it this way, pointy-eared freak. Oh, and um, when we're on names, uh, you can call me Dark Hand. Dark Hand. Oh, Dark Rock. Gotcha. Or, <laughs> or you can call me. Okay, a better term since you guys are just want to talk side talk. I'm known as Dead Man's Hand in many different circles. So you can call me that for the time being until we get other business arranged. Four aces. Dead Man's Hand. He goes, well, I am, if you know the rumors, I am a pretty good poker player and I'm good at what I do, and I got many connections, so yeah, it kind of fits. Okay. So anyway, let's okay, get down man. to it. Alright, dead man's hand. Yes. I'm just going to call you poker. That works to too. Whatever. Listen here. I grew up here. I know the ins and outs. I know all the places to steal. I know basically all the hidden spots that you ever need to know, and secret tunnels to get into the castle. I'm here on unfinished business with the queen. I don't know what you're exactly <coughs> wanting, <coughs> but he he goes, anything comes yeah. with a price. He goes, touche. But like I said, we can work out the price at a later time. And he slides you guys a little tiny piece of paper that, that when you can see you guys both rolled a pretty high number, it's got like a magical quality to it. And the seal is from a faraway land that you guys have heard that from like fairy tales that's basically, some say it doesn't exist, some say it does, but the people who know of it 
like this guy um there's probably a reason but he goes like I said you guys seem like the adventurous type so I'm gonna give you this and in return one of my contacts that I should say uh kind of screwed me over probably got himself killed there's a and then uh you s and when you are you guys gonna open it i will okay you guys see that it sees uh uh the it, it's uh it's basically it's a um pretty good it has like a map and it says um the dragon and the red dragon's tail um the shipwreck cove and the coordinates it's like um it's not that far from here it, it's up it from since you guys both travel a lot the coordinates take you up pretty close to Loch Ness in Scotland and then uh but uh, there's some like clues and stuff to it but I uh, but anyway he goes anyway so the the my part of the deal is I will give you this quest because you guys seem like the adventurous type <coughs> and in return you can bring me back what basically was mine to begin with but like I said he screwed me over and probably got himself killed so I couldn't get what I was owed so basically you can kind of be doing me a favor and uh, there's a little X that's on like the far side of the map and he goes uh so there's some and to make it even easier on you kind of sweeten the pot whatever else is in that chest where that x is marked that basically the guy got for me you can have whatever else is in there the only thing that i am asking for there's a ambulance that is what is uh what i was owed for a previous deal, but like I said, I never got it. So you can retrieve that to me, whatever else besides this quest, you can have. And split between you and your party. Do we have a deal? So all you want is a gem? Yes. And whatever's left we keep. Yeah, that's all I'm asking. Pretty cheap, pretty simple. More than what the rumors that you've heard from me. So, what do we have a deal? What's the catch? Because there is no catch. <laughs> you and I are both rogues. We know what, there's a catch. Okay, true. But the catch is... Getting to this place, which is a place of rumor and very 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 few people know what this place is um where the dragon's tail is like i said i mean like the map says it's up near scotland but getting there is very treacherous but for ventures people like you you could probably could there's no problem with that and i'm pretty sure you will much like uh, much like myself have many many connections on both sides of the spectrum so it's probably not much of your pro oh, big problem to get to this location outside of that it's completely up to you guys and if you guys want to take the deal sounds like to me you want to go too i've already seen the place that's hence why I had a contact down there that screwed me over and 
didn't really get, I never really got to do that, so I've already seen that place. Can you give me a hint as what to look for when we get there? He goes, from my travels, they, the river that goes off of Loch Ness will go, uh, the landscape will actually, hence the name, will go, it basically, it, it is formed into like a dragon's tail. Um, Do and you want us to look for the ass end of a dragon? It's not an actual, it's a literal, it's not a literal dragon's tail, it's just the way that nature made it. The, like the trees, the mountains, it looks like a dragon's tail. But, and that leads you into this mystic, this area, or this cove, or, yeah. Okay, so it's a little cove. Uh, yes. But it's off. <laughs> that is known by this, and with the map that I gave you, um, like I said, very many, very few people know of it, and it's, um, it is, it's off of Loch Ness, up near Scotland, and from what I've heard, a lot of people going in the wrong way in Scotland have re got wrecked on this and claim, people claim to hear sirens, but then again, you know as well as I do, unless you know a guy that knows a guy, it's basically just hearsay until you actually either see it or you talk to the right people. Am I right, Rogue? Yeah, I know. Anywho, so, do we have a deal? If we do get this, where would we meet you at? Back here? Or in a specific spot? He goes, if you don't make it back here, then I will find you. And if you hear the rumors of me are true, you know of my elfish part and how what kind of magic I can hold. I can appear from nowhere. So, if you can't find me, I will find you. Stop. <laughs> so, what do we have, Rogue? What do you think, Maul? Uh, I guess we could do it. Is this the only thing you need? He goes, yeah. Well, we're rogues, so what do you expect? We always want something else after we get what we're looking for. <coughs> Fine. Just this one thing. What is that? This is all we're getting you. Goes, yeah. We're here on a mission. Okay. I have some unfinished business to attend, and I want to get it done. He goes, yeah, good enough for me. That's all I ask. If you screw us over, I'm going to kill you. He goes, you'll probably be the first in a long list that, uh, that, that has said that to me, but A, it comes with the, ter uh, it comes with price. The, pr uh, the price of the life that I chose. I'm pretty sure you have choosing the same life from what rumors I've heard of you, Miss Rogue. Um, you could probably see where I'm going with. It just comes with the territory. So, like I said, what do we have? Fine. We have a deal. Okay. But if you want anything else, it'll have to wait till after we get done with what we're here for. It goes good enough for me. Once we're done, whatever else you need, we'll do it. He goes, okay. I just need to tighten up some loose ends. He goes, fine. Sounds good. 
as he slinks back and basically there's basically like a shadow where he was. So anyway, you guys go out. You guys head into Loch Ness. Uh, head into Scotland. It takes you uh, a little under a day. Maybe a day and a half. Excuse me. Yeah. Is that better? Uh, I hope so. <laughs> Stew, bud. It's you, bud. It's you, bud. Come here. Okay, you guys head into Scotland. It takes you, like I said, about a day, maybe a day and a half. And then it leads you... You guys... Okay, the first part of it, you guys, it leads you to like something like that looks like that. Anyway, so you guys find one of the clues that's on the paper of the map, and you guys get in, find it with no problem, and. Uh, So, with that being said, uh, when you guys go there, uh, um, <laughs> so you guys, well, like I said, you guys uh, follow the clue, you guys go into there, and then that leads you into it looks like um, a uh, and then you guys go in further and then you guys basically you guys get to which is very odd you guys after you guys get that, it leads you guys into a pit. You guys are now looking at something like this that you guys see and then so you guys see like a like basically like your contact said like uh, dead man's hand said it's oddly to say but it's a little cove that's nestled in the up near Scotland off of Loch Ness Lake and as you guys are doing that um so you guys want to continue yeah mm -hmm. okay so with that being said, you guys see when you get, it's like a little sandy cove looking thing. Um, you guys see like crabs and a lot of things like that. And then... So, with that being said, you guys are fucked. You're first going to find the Hey. 
perfect. You guys see, and you guys get off the cove, you guys hear, you, um, You guys hear, it sounds like a little digging, with that being said,